Hey, my name is Austin Kane. I'm a senior at the University of Mississippi, and I'm majoring in geological engineering. I had been getting letters from them for weeks and weeks, and I was just an old mess. I was just throwing them away, and I don't really know about that school. And um, one day, my mom just said she she got a feeling that she wanted to open the letter, and uh, she opened it, and um, she read it to me. And it said that if I did geological engineering, that I would um, get my high state tuition paid for it. What they do is, um, if your state that you're coming from does not offer that major, then they will pay for your out-of-state tuition. If you're coming from Louisiana or Tennessee or Georgia or any of those, I'm sure there's many other states that are in a consortium with it, and um, they they pay for it. I'm so glad I came here, and uh, and I was when I didn't get into Georgia Tech, I was depressed, but now it's it was for the better. And when I came here, I loved absolutely every second that I've been here. People are great, the school is great, the campus is awesome, the town is awesome, and everything about Ole Miss is just it's awesome. I wouldn't rather go to any other school. I really wasn't sure what geological engineering was until uh, my senior year. I got to uh, work for Tennessee Valley Authority in high school. And, uh, you know, the geological engineer, a lot, it's, it's got a wide range. I mean, you can do stuff, you can work on dams, you can work on landfills, you can actually just be, be, be a geologist and go out and map areas. And then you can also uh, work with exploration with petroleum. You, know, you can um, be the person that looks at reservoirs or you can be the person that goes out and finds the oil. And uh, I talked to my boss at TVA and he said it's one of the best majors you can do because it's, it's so broad and um, it, you're open to do so many different things. And uh, so I read the, you know, I looked at the letter, and then I came to visit, got a visit schedule, and I came to visit, and then as soon as I visited, I fell in love with it. I lived in Brown Hall uh, freshman year, and um, that's actually the best thing that I, the best decision I made. I was gonna get an apartment, you know, just pay for the dorm and get an apartment, but uh, I ended up staying in the dorms, and that's where I met all, a lot of my best friends now. We would just leave the doors open all, all throughout the hall and the entire dorm room and just come to uh, everyone's room. It's a great process to meet people. You know, you get the feel of a, a big SEC school, but it's not that big of a school. You know, you can walk from the farthest point of campus to the other farthest point in 10 minutes, and uh, but you still get that feel of a big SEC school like in Georgia or Tennessee, but it's, it's, it's a lot, everyone's a lot closer here, and I feel like they're a lot nicer as well. The first football game I ever went to was one of the greatest experiences I've ever had. <laughs> it, was just, it was awesome. So much fun. I was here uh, every home game, and um, I like to get here, you know, like five, six hours before the game, and uh, just sit around and have fun. And um, you know, we don't win too often, but <laughs> we'll be all right. So we even have our own, uh, you know, engineering tent for football games. They cook out brisket, hamburgers, hot dogs, and it's just, it's an awesome time. I was uh, assigned to Dr. Kuzma, my advisor, and uh, he, he's the department chair. He literally set out a roadmap for me to take. So I've, this whole time I've known what class, I need to be taking this class at this time, and if I can't get that done, then I know i got to take that class over the summer. So he, he made it so much easier for me. I wouldn't, you know, we got to take 137 hours, I believe, and I would have been lost trying to determine what classes I need to take and when I need to take them. A lot of us are graduating in four years now just because the faculty is so good at, if you stick with what they want you to do, then you, you can graduate in four years. You get to go on a field trip in uh, almost every class because with geological engineering, you know, you it's in the classroom, but you take the stuff that you learn in the classroom and you get to use it in the field. Actually, in a couple of weeks, right after spring break, we're going to New Mexico for a week. So I get to miss a whole week of class and it's getting excused because we're going to New Mexico to look at some mines and landfills. And, you know, you go out there and you, that's where I gained most of my experience, actually. Is, you know, in the classroom, you learn a lot of stuff, but when you go out in the field and do hands-on work, it's that's where you really learn every, the most important stuff. You know, when I was a kid, we vacated to all these national parks, and you know, taking these classes now, I understand like, oh, that's how that was formed. That's how that happens, and uh, so it it really just made me understand how the world works. The main goal of engineering is to be a leader and to make the world a better place. And, you gotta be determined to be a leader, you can't just be normal, <laughs> it's hard.